Hey guys, the roller coaster is coming together. One of the biggest things that we're going to have to design is going to be the foundations along with the structure because that's what makes a roller coaster. Welcome to the roller coaster project. So when it comes to building a roller coaster, you might think the layout of the ride is important, but what holds up the actual ride? So what we've been working on lately has been the structure. As you can see behind me and on my laptop, we've been designing it with AutoCAD. And it's good for 2D, but then as far as getting into 3D modeling, start using things like Fusion 360, also from AutoCAD. Now, of course, I'm not getting paid by them, but just letting you know what I use and what some of the industry professionals also use. They also use AutoCAD Inventor. So one of the biggest things we were having to do was come up with a structure that would one, be sound, strong enough to hold the roller coaster. Keep in mind each car, as I have over here, is gonna weigh approximately two pounds. So if we have five cars, that's 10 pounds moving at three and three quarter G, you're talking about a lot of weight pushing down on this structure. So we're using a very hard wood, we're using poplar. And since it's really cheap, very strong as compared to hobby woods, we get it from Home Depot, <laughs> get it at six foot sections. With that, we machine it down. It's 3 16 by quarter inch, and it's actually strong enough with a wide amount of factor of safety to withstand the forces on our ride. Um, of course, we've done a bunch of theoretical numbers as far as our machining, everything, spacing. It's all to account for no more than a 16th of an inch deflection. That is, of course, the bending as it goes between these two supports. Um, we'll also go more in depth with how I came up with the supports and one of the biggest things that I've been having problems with is actually the foundation. So we actually did something very very simple where we machined a, um, a flat plane but we laid out where all of the holes are going to be and it has two holes uh, drilled in the center for uh, mounting it to a larger baseboard. That way we don't have many surveying instruments like they use on a real roller coaster. So what we have to do is make do, and this kind of goes together like little puzzle pieces. Here's one of the somewhat finished product, products. This is actually a spacer that goes in between the supports and spaces them out. And for the straightaways, the runs, <laughs> they're spaced at three inch on center. As far as turns, since we want to get a better envelope, as far as a turn, we usually space it, I'm spacing them at two and a half inches, sometimes as low as two, depending on how accurate this turn needs to be and how high I'm gonna bank it. And that's gonna come up a lot later, but right now what we're doing is working on building the test track, and then we're going to, in the next video, place the track atop these ledgers and these bents. And hopefully everything should work pretty well. Now, keep in mind, I am using actual bolts to kind of give it a very real world uh, feel. The track itself, which we'll get into a little bit later, will mimic much of the real track with anchor bolts and uh, we'll use glue instead of nails. Thanks for checking in on the roller coaster project. As always, like this video, share with your friends, comment below, let me know what any ideas you might have for the future ride, if you want to help out, if you want to learn about roller coasters yourself, or just engineering in general. Uh, I appreciate the support and hope to hear from you guys and we'll be back in a couple of weeks.